Hello fellow traders, I'm Dave the Trader, and this is my Thinkorswim Analyze Tab mini course. My apologies to those folks waiting for me to complete this. I got distracted building my volatility course, which I'll talk about later. So I'm re-recording the series on the Analyze Tab in Thinkorswim to tighten it up, expand it, correct a few errors, and give it a better production quality overall. Sound, graphics, and so forth. I hope you like it. The Analyze tab of the Thinkorswim platform is one of the most powerful tools in retail trading today. True to its name, it allows you to analyze stock and option trades before you put them on, as well as while they're on, showing you the trade Greeks, the profit potential, the risks, and the probabilities of each. As a professional option trader, I use the Analyze tab all the time. Okay, so let's get into this. The first thing we want to do is load up a trade into the Analyze tab. You have to have something to analyze, and those, that something is a trade of some sort. Now, the, one of the easiest ways to do that is wherever on the platform you see a trade, for example, your account statement, back, going back seven days or so, I've put in a few trades. This is just my paper trading account. And back here, uh, I was trying to get a butter, a broken wing butterfly on Goldman Sachs and ran out of time that day. So let's analyze that one. I select it and then look for analyze trade right there. I could also analyze the opposite trade if I wanted to analyze the sell instead of the buy. But let's analyze this one. And there's the trade. This is the risk graph showing the trade's risk characteristics. Up here, we have Goldman Sachs loaded. And down here is the trade itself. In this section, you find any positions that you have on. And in addition, the trades that you're analyzing it calls them simulated trades because they're not trades yet. Okay. So that's one way of loading a trade. Like I said, almost anywhere you see a trade on the platform, you should be able to right click on it and click analyze trade. I could analyze the opposite trade, like that, hmm. and of course that cancels out and I get a zero trade, zero value trade. Or let's see, if I don't like this trade, I can delete it by just clicking the X over here I can create, I can analyze it again. If I analyze it again, now I'm looking at basically 10 butterflies instead of 5. But here, I can disable this one. Click on here, and let's move this leg up a little bit, shall we? Say to 205. See what that looks like. Well, now it's not a broken wing butterfly. Now it's just a butterfly since the legs are equal. So I like the Analyze Trade menu item on the right, when you right click on a trade and pick that Analyze Trade. I like that the best. It makes it simple. Just off you go to the Analyze tab. It's all loaded up, ready to go. And or the Analyze Opposite Trade, of course. Now, once you like this trade, You've analyzed it, you've taken a look at it, you say, I think I'd like to put this trade on now. You can right click, say create duplicate order. I mean, you can just confirm and send, in which case it'll just send it off right then. Typically I do not do that. Notice once you do that, it removes the simulated trade since it assumes that you're now making this a real trade. 
So let's create this. I said we move this up to 205 to make it a balanced butterfly. And now I can say create duplicate order. And now it's on the order entry tools ready to be sent off. I can adjust the price. 44 cent debit now. Confirm and send. And off it goes. Notice it puts some placeholders here for when the trade fills. The quantities will go up to 5 and minus 10, respectively, uh, once this trade fills. Then I usually delete this trade. Once this trade fills, I'll delete this trade so that I'm not looking at basically two copies of the same trade. And voila! Notice this trade filled. Now that it's filled, this becomes a position rather than a simulated trade. And this simulated trade we can now delete so that we're analyzing just our current position right here. But normally, the way we get a trade onto the trade tab, uh, analyze tab, is we just enter it, we build it in, build it up. <clears throat> Let's do, for example, a strangle on snap. We click on the add simulated trades tab, open up the series we'd like to place the trade in, like 42 days left to expiration. And let's do say, how about a 15 delta? Sell that one. 15 delta over on this side. We got 19 or 12. Uh, let's be conservative. Let's take the 12. Hold the shift key down. Um, sorry, the control key. Click here so that it becomes part of this trade. And now we're looking at selling a strangle. Let's take a look and see on the risk profile what that looks like. And there we go. This is what our strangle risk graph looks like. And how much are we getting for it? 31 cents. Uh, we should probably take at least 10 of those. Just a small trade. 310 bucks. Again, I like this. Create a duplicate and send it off. Done. Now remove the simulated trade and we have our position on snap. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of setup so for my own convenience I like to uh, link the analyze tab or the risk profile section of it at least to my watch list over here. So I click link those with red and do the same with the charts. There. Now if I'm looking at TLT or I can select PCG which is PG and E. A little confusing. And I get that chart and click on analyze and now I'm analyzing my uh, position that I have on PC and G on PCG I'll set my watch list to current account positions and these are all the different positions that I currently have on I find this setup to be less than helpful yes I can look at the charts of the options themselves, but generally I don't want to do that. Instead, go up to Setup, 
application settings display and under display it says show underlying symbols instead of option symbols when my when I'm displaying my current account positions which is what I want to do so let's apply that now I'm looking at just the underlyings rather than the options themselves so that when I click on Amazon I get the chart of Amazon rather than the chart of the option that I currently have on it. So I hope that was useful. Now I want to go to the Analyze tab and really just focus on that. So the Analyze tab, I should mention, for completeness, it does have this Economic Data sub-tab and it has Think Back, which is should be the subject of its own entire lecture. It's also got fundamentals, so you can get all kinds of different information on companies that you're looking to invest in. But I'm not going to be talking about those in this series. I'm going to be talking about these three sub-tabs. The ones you get when you say detach. There. The Ad Simulated Trades for building up a simulated trade. The Risk Profile for taking a look at its risk graph. And the Probability Analysis. That'll be the last section. And now I'm done with my setup. So we've learned several ways of getting trades into the Analyze tab. And we've gotten a little bit of experience with some of the setup of Thinkorswim. Next, we're going to talk about the risk profile basics.